On Monday, June 1, Governor Janet Mills called a special press event to discuss a conference call she was on with President Trump earlier in the day. Not realizing a recording of the call would be released to the media, she lied to the people of Maine. The following audio is from the Washington Post and the video from WGME-TV. So in the wake of those statements by the president, I asked two questions. I asked the administration to share the intelligence they spoke of so that I could determine if there was any risk to Maine people and I could strive to keep Maine people safe. So I asked Attorney General Barr as well what federal law he intended us to prosecute protesters under. Neither question was answered. I asked the administration to share the intelligence they spoke of. As far as uh, intelligence, we do have intelligence uh, information, and uh, we'll present it to the appropriate people. Bill, go ahead. Yeah, obviously, we're gonna, we'll, we will be sharing intelligence uh, uh, with all our state and local partners through the Joint uh, Terrorist Task Forces. Uh, so anything pertinent to me, uh, we would direct your way through that mechanism. Uh, and I know your people are tied into that. So I asked Attorney General Barr as well what federal law he intended us to prosecute protesters under. Uh, as to federal offenses, there are many different federal offenses uh, that, uh, that emerge in rioting situations. Two of the most common are anyone who crosses the state lines engage in riot federal offense. Uh, to incite, to participate in, to encourage, and so forth. Uh, or anyone who uses any interstate facility, including telecommunications, vehicles, roads, whatever, uh, uh, in connection with uh, participating and encouraging writing. Those are two federal events that commonly come in play. But there are many others, from, you know, destructive devices uh, and uh, conspiracies uh, and other things. Neither question was answered. I then spoke up to tell the president, you know, that based on the vitriol of his comments, I was now concerned that his presence in Maine might create unrest. Though they were aware of these falsehoods, not a single member of Maine's media reported on the governor's lies. In April 2022, Mills was quoted in a book by two New York Times reporters about this phone call. They quoted Mills as saying she thought Trump was having a nervous breakdown and called a security person in to listen to the call as a witness. Strangely, Mills never raised this point during her press conference shortly after the call ended. And her response to reporters about the book comments? Mills' office did not immediately respond to a question on her quote. Having been caught in an entire press conference full of lies about the call, perhaps Mills had reached her limit on being questioned about it. Since it was so easy for Mills to lie about such an important event, one can't help but wonder if, as a prosecutor, she was willing to lie to gain convictions of Maine citizens.